Vicky. This is Safe for Later. I just wanted to take a minute and talk to you if you are a mother or a parent of children in elementary school. My kids had a rough time last year, and if you check out any of my other videos, you'll understand what I've been going through. So this year, they decide I decided to send them to a new school, a charter school. It's still a public school, but it's run by a board. So the school board oversees it, but it's actually run by a board of people. I think there are six people. One's an attorney. There's just different people. They're all professionals. And so far, it's been really, really good. I thought maybe if you're struggling as a parent and you're tired of the school system, maybe you don't want to do private school. There could be more than one reason. I, I personally went to private school for one year, and I did not like it. I felt they were too strict. I mean, even to hold your book. I had to hold my book a certain way, almost like you're holding a prayer book. And I just didn't feel comfortable there. I was always in trouble. And they used to spank you with a wooden shoe when I went to school. And then, you know, then send you back to class. Like that fixed it. You couldn't drop your pencil. You'd get in timeout. I mean, there was a lot of rules. Too many when you're in elementary school. I mean, it's supposed to be fun going to school. So my kids are going to a charter school. And it's not next to our house, but it's worth the drive so far. They have loved it. They wear a uniform and they're very strict. You can't get your uniforms like at Walmart or Pennies or anywhere else. You have to buy them directly from their distributor. So each child has the same shade of blue shirt, yellow shirt, blue pants. Everything is the same. And I kind of like that. At first I was thinking, geez, this is expensive. It's like the price of Gap clothes for kids. And if you've ever shopped at Gap for school uniforms, you know what I'm talking about. $20 for a shirt. So I was a little not happy with that at first. But now I realize when I see the children, they all look so nice. There isn't anything to complain about. Like your shirt's faded, this and that. There's nothing. It's They all look the same. And it's really nice. The teachers all look professional. When I was sending my children last year to public school, well, let's start back. Back when I went to public school, the people who were teaching you, the teachers and the administration adhered to a dress code, sort of. They didn't have a uniform, but they all looked like bankers and they were very professional looking. And last year, I remember one particular time I said to my son, who is that? Is that somebody's mother? And he was like, no, she works at the school. Well, I mean, there's nothing against tattoos and, you know, maybe they should be placed where you can hide them if you choose. But either way, she had tattoos all up and down her body, her feet, her neck. She had rings in her earrings, in her lips, in her nose, and um, crazy hair, different colors and stuff. And, you know, that's fine if that's what you want to do. But, you know, don't come to school and teach the children and, you know, be friendly with them. Like my son might ask about the tattoo. Do you really, really have to say, hey, let me show you this other one I have. Let me do this. It's too closeness. Teachers should, there should be a line between teachers and students. And I think that's why it keeps getting crossed and the students are hanging out, hooking up, doing whatever with the teachers. There's no line and the teachers seem to be getting younger and younger and younger. I mean, they look like they're right out of high school. I know they're not, but they just appear that way and they're very pretty. So that's one thing that I had a problem with last year and coming to school with flip-flops. My son can't come to school or my daughter with flip-flops, but yet the administration and the teachers were coming in with like shower shoes. That's what we call them when you go camping. You get like those cheap dollar flip-flops and they're like called shower shoes because you use them when you go into the public restroom to take showers at campgrounds. I just don't think it was professional and it didn't set a good example. It said the children had to be a certain way, but the teachers and the staff did not. And it's kind of hard when you're a kid to be told what to do when you have nobody to model it after. So this year is completely, completely different. They all dress professional. I mean, dresses, skirts, slacks, suits, you know, nice looking clothes, nice shoes. You know, they might have a sandal on, but it's a dress sandal, not a flip flop. And they have a demeanor about them. They know they're the teacher. There isn't a crossing the line. 
And I feel that if you are struggling as a parent and you're looking for something better, you don't want public school, or I mean, you don't want private school, and maybe it's not even an option, maybe it's too much money, or you just don't have one near you, then take a look at charter schools. They're still run by public schools, they're overseen, but they have a board that runs the actual school, and they have more leeway, like they have chess at this new school. Chess is an awesome mind game, I, I can't even play it, my son loves it. It's very good, it's a good skill. They do Spanish, they do art, they do music. Our other school didn't even have art. We tried to get art many, many, many times. And they kept saying, well, science goes hand in hand with math, so we're gonna have science. And it was like 30 minutes of science anyway, so what were you learning? I just feel that this is a good, a good solution. My son seems so happy, he's eager to learn. And he actually goes to a school where they have gender classrooms which is even better because the boys learn at a different rate and way than girls learn. And so they gear the class towards boys. Sometimes the boys get, you know, restless and they need a little bit more breaks or they need something geared towards them. So they might play silent ball in the classroom. They did some sort of an M&M &M, uh, study where you close your eyes and pick an M&M &M, and whatever color M&M &M you got, that's the question you have to answer. And they go around the room and the kids get to participate. Then they get to eat the M&Ms. They also did, um, what else did he tell me? Oh, hopping on one foot. So whoever can hop the highest and stuff, they earn like classroom money. And then instead of buying stuff, this is really cool. Instead of buying stuff, it encourages the kids to earn as much as they can by working as hard as they can because she has auctions. My son's teacher has auctions, and they're every so often, and the kids get to actually bid. So the more money they earn in classroom money, which means the harder they work, and the more motivated they are, they get to earn, they get to bid on stuff. And some of the parents donate things for them to bid on. So not long ago, they bid on a Game Boy. I know Game Boys are old, and they're outdated, but hey, children like anything. They like electronics, and it's electronics and some kid bid a hundred classroom dollars on it and got it. And so this is just an incentive to get them to work harder and they want to do it right. Like he'll come home and say, mommy, sign my agenda, sign my agenda. But I make him tell me about his day before I sign the agenda because I want to know what's going on. And he'll tell me the entire day from the beginning till the end. You don't know how much advancement this is. This is huge from last year and I'll sign it. And when I sign the agenda, he doesn't lose money. Because if the parent doesn't sign the agenda, the child loses a dollar classroom money. And that would stink when you're trying to earn as much as you can for the auction. I'm Vicki Brown. I'm glad you stopped in. Stop in again for more tips, tricks, savings advice, and parenting things that I'm going through and you probably are too. This is Safer Later. Have a great day.